Welcome to Coco's Crafts. Today we are going to make the grand piano. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make it step by step. This is a cardboard I used. It's thin but sturdy. The thickness is about two millimeter. Here is the measurements of the base of the piano. Mark this blue line on the base piece. This will be the glue line later on. Your base piece should look like this. Here are the measurements for your right side piece. This is where the right side piece goes. After cutting, it should look like this. These are the measurements of the left side piece. This is where the left side piece goes. Now we're going to make the bend part. You will need a piece of corrugated cardboard. Cut the measurements as shown. Here is the foundation pieces of the piano. Let's get started assembling. Make sure you don't put too much glue on the edge. It has a nice clean edge with no glue spell. Now we're going to glue on the curve. Here are the dimensions for the next glue on the marked line. Here are the dimensions for the next piece. Line up the corners as shown. Here are the dimensions for the next piece. Glue this as shown. Cut two pieces. Glue them together with tacky glue. This is the type I usually use. Glue them tightly in front of that back piece. These are the dimensions for the next piece. 
glue this piece as shown. Cut six pieces of these dimensions. Glue three pieces together with tacky glue. Glue one beside the right side piece and one beside the left side piece. Cut two pieces of those dimensions and glue them together as well. This will be the keyboard. Slide them in to see if they fit properly. Now let's draw the keyboard now. Here is the pattern of the keyboard. The width of the white key is 0 0.3 centimeter. To draw the black key, you just measure 0 0.1 centimeter on each of the line. The key point is find your middle spot on your keyboard. Then start with the three black keys in the middle, then two on the side, so far, so forth. Here is the one I almost finished, except the last key. It will take a while, but um, you need a little bit of patience. I'm using a really fine tip brush. Here is the finished part. It looks pretty neat. Now before you glue on the keyboard, we should paint the whole thing and let it dry. This time decided to make a pure black piano. I'm going to paint the front bar gold. Gold and black, they should go well. After the paint all dried up, glue the keyboard in the place. Cut one piece as the dimensions show. This is the decorate part underneath the keyboard. Now I suggest to use a hot glue on this piece. Then it will put it really tight on the bottom. I 
and make sure it line up really neat at the back. Paint this bar in black. We're going to make a final cut, which is the lid. Let's also paint it in black. Now we're going to attach the lid to the main part. Grab a stick. You can use a barbecue stick as well. Cut 10 centimeter off. Use a hot glue to glue it at the corner. Make sure you put enough glue on it. Now the degree of the stick, I will say about 45 degrees. Paint the stick and let it dry. Use a hot glue to glue the inside, but make sure not too much glue, otherwise the glue will show from the outside. When the glue is still hot, quickly attach the lid to the stick. I stole those dowels from my husband's workshop. And the only thing is it has a little you see angle on it. I have to cut those. Then it will be easy for me to attach those little legs onto the body. Now here you have to make sure you put the same amount of the hot glue on each of the legs. Don't put too much. Put the piano on a surface to see all the four legs are leveled. Last step, paint the legs. Voila, we finished. Next time I will show you how to make the matching leather bench. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thank you.